Well, good afternoon. This is Bruce McConnell with Locomotive Systems Training. I would like to take a moment and thank Brian Myers, a guest, for stepping in and helping us with the FRA definitions. And also, uh, I want to thank Bob Daly for stepping up and doing his portion of uh, the FRA definition. But it's really important to understand how these definitions apply to the rules so we get a, a very good, clear understanding of what's expected of the condition of that locomotive and how it falls under FRA guidance. Okay, so today we're going to talk about, again, Locomotive Systems Training, Inc., FRA definitions continued, and this is LSTV-013, lucky number 13. All right, so here we go. FRA definitions continued. MU locomotive means a multiple unit operated electric locomotive, number one, with one or more propelling motors designed to carry freight or passenger traffic or both or without propelling motors, but with one or more control stands, and a means of picking up primary power, such as a pantograph or third rail. That may be like inner city uh, uh, commuter trains where they have the, the wires overhead. Operator control unit means a mobile unit that communicates via radio link the commands for movement, direction, speed braking, or for operations bell horn sander to an RCL. That's remote control locomotive. Powered axle is an axle equipped with a traction device, which is really, really important when you're talking about locomotives. Okay, let's go to the next one. All right, again, FRA definition continued. Qualified mechanical instructor means a person who has received instructions and training that includes hands-on experience under appropriate supervision or an apprenticeship in one or more of the following functions, troubleshooting, inspection, testing, maintenance, repair, of the specific locomotive equipment for which the person is assigned responsibility. This person shall also possess a current understanding of what is required to properly repair and maintain the locomotive equipment for which the person is assigned responsibility. Further, the qualified mechanical inspector shall be a person whose primary responsibility includes work that's only consistent with the functions listed in this definition. In other words, a qualified mechanical instructor is a person that has the ability to understand all this equipment, how to troubleshoot it, and also how to repair it. Okay, let's move on to the next one. All right, FRA definitions continued. Railroad means all forms of non-highway ground transportation, and there's the key, that run on rails or electromagnetic guideways, including number one, commuter or other short haul rail passenger service in a metropolitan or suburban area, and number two, high-speed ground transportation systems that connect metropolitan areas without regard to whether they use new technologies not associated with traditional railroads. Such term does not include rapid transit operations within an urban area that are not connected to the general railroad system of transportation. Okay, so freight railroads and intermodal or uh, intercity metropolitan areas, two different two different configurations of railroads. Okay, remote control locomotive (RCL) means a remote control locomotive that, through use of a radio link, can be operated by a person not physically within the confines of the locomotive cab. For purposes of this part, the term RCL does not refer to a locomotive or group of locomotives remotely controlled from the lead locomotive of a train, as in distributed power arrangements. Now, let's be clear on that. There's two different types of locomotive operation we got going on. One is RCL, remote control locomotive, where the operator is standing on the ground, usually in some kind of a switching role. He has a belt pack on, and he literally controls all the functions of that locomotive. Uh, speed, uh, throttle, uh, horn, bell, braking, power, everything. But that, per that locomotive and that person stay within a sp sp specified area of where that locomotive is working. Distributed power, on the other hand, it's a completely different system. That's where you'll have like three or four locomotives, like two in the front, two in the middle, maybe one in the back, and all of these remote control locomotives are receiving two signals. A radio signal from the lead locomotive telling the other locomotive what to do, and also uh, air, there's an air signal from brake pipe that goes from that lead locomotive to that last locomotive or the last car in that train. So it's com two completely different things. This one is running freight all over the country. This one here is in a specified yard, mainly the moving switches or switching out cars. All right, let's go ahead and move on. Sand delivery system means a permanently stationed or fixed device designed to deliver sand to a locomotive sandboxes that do not require the sand to be manually delivered or loaded. A sand delivery system will be considered permanently stationed if it is at a location at least five days a week for at least eight hours per day. So the FRA even tells you the definition of what a sand delivery system is. Now, as uh, Brian mentioned and also Bob mentioned, 
This is the website you can go to or we're going to go to to get additional information. It's www.fra.dot.gov. Okay, once again, www.fra.dot.gov. Okay. All right, so now we've talked about the FRA rules, I mean, excuse me, the FRA definitions, which is used interpreted in the rules. That's why we're going through it. Uh, now we're going to talk about the FRA guidance, how it affects, and the only one I've got is MU Locomotive, Section 1. It says here, this refers to self-propelled transit cars and commuter service in various large urban centers around the country. This section does not apply to the common vernacular of the railroad industry by MU locomotives is a generic term given to any locomotive that can be coupled in a contest with other locomotives and controlled from a single control location. So in this section, they're talking about a self-propelled transit car in a commuter service, not in freight. So this MU locomotive definition does not apply to the locomotives in the freight railroad business. Make sure you clearly understand that. There is a term for MU locomotive where it deals with freight locomotives or freight trains, but this deals strictly with transit cars and commuter service. So with that being said, I want to thank you again for uh, tuning in. Please go to our website again. It is www.lst-ca.com. Once again, that's www.lst-ca.com. And take a look at all the classes we're offering and give us a call. It's all the information in there. Thank you and have a safe day.